Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, thank you. great. I'm doing great. Thank you very much. We have Imelda Sanchez, Claudia Janet, uh, Luis Enriquez, Gladys Campos, Jenny Sanchez, Roberto Tovar, Sonia Guadalupe, and Rufino Amilcar. Okay, everybody, welcome. Um, I'm sorry, I'm no, I think I'm on time. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. Just give me a second. There it is. All right, this is uh, welcome once again, everybody. This is Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Duñán, at your service. One more time, it's Intermediate 3, Session 6, and today is October the 18th of 2022, or 2022, as you prefer. So what are we going to do? Well, if you remember, um, you had some homework, okay? And uh, the deal was we have to uh, check homework right now, okay? So everybody, uh, here's the assignment. You had to write one sentence using both the past simple and the past continuous, okay? In one sentence. So you have an example. On January 13th, 2001, I was doing the dishes, that's past continuous for an action that was in progress at a specific moment in the past. When the earthquake began, that's the moment. That's the specific moment. So I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. So an action in progress that is interrupted by another action. So I'm going to ask one by one to everybody present right here. I want to hear your sentence, okay? So um, let's see, Sonia joined us, also Morena joined us, welcome. All right, um, we're going to begin with uh, Imelda. Can you read your sentence, please? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. On January 13th, mm -hmm. um, I was just arriving arriving from convenience store. Okay. Uh, when the earthquake began. Okay, I was arriving from a convenience store when the earthquake began. All right, thank you, Imelda. We're going to listen to Amilcar, Rufino Amilcar, please. Um, I, I, uh, I don't remember, but uh, I think, I saw, I think uh, the homework is um, two sentences, but mm -hmm. in, this, in this moment, I understand. <laughs> ah, okay, no problem. You can write your sentence right now and then I'm going to ask you at the end, okay? Okay. All right. Um, okay, then Sonia wants to participate. Okay, Sonia. Okay, good evening, teacher good evening. and guys. Uh, on my 30, 31st, um, 2020, I was uh, protecting myself from virus uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when um, rainy, very, very strong for Hurricane uh, Amanda. Okay, yeah, I remember Hurricane Amanda. Yeah. It was bad, and very bad. And my house, uh, Claudie, Claudie. Your house? My house. Mm -hmm. It floated. Ah, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Oh, okay, really sorry. <laughs> Now in my house, I had a lot of leaks, mucha goteras, okay? That was a problem. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sonia. So um, we're going to listen to Luis, your sentence, Luis, please. Luis Enriquez. Luis Enriquez. Yes, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. On January 13, 2001, I remember that I was doing my uh, purchasing in the supermarket with, with my mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. when the hardware began. Yeah, the, I remember that. When but, the earthquake began. When the earthquake began. Yeah, when the earthquake began, 
Okay. I was inside the supermarket. Okay. The uh, super select, super select was here for uh, Colonia Miral Valle. Okay. When the er, 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 earthquake began. Okay. Sounds good. All, all was all was a mess. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> okay. Thank yeah, you. I remember that. Thank you, Luis. Okay, you. we're going to uh, ask Claudia Janet. Hi, teacher. Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry for my camera. Uh, don't worry. But I, I like I'm the here. picture. <laughs> I like the picture. It's sarcasm and coffee. And there is Daria, yes, okay, with a cup my... of coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on January 30th, 13th, 13th, pardon, 2001, I, I was bathing my dog in the moment was earthquake. Okay, you can say I was bathing my dog when the earthquake began. Exactly. Okay, all right. Thank you, Claudia. Very good. Thank you. We'll continue now with, let's see who's next. Uh, Gladys. Okay, Gladys. Gladys Campos, can you hear me? Disculpe, teacher, dice que no las podía hacer. Ah. No podía hacer las oraciones. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, Roberto Tobar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yo, ahorita. Okay. Yo, I was jogging in the house when okay. I feel down. Yo estaba I, tratando en el casa cuando me caí. Okay, I was jogging in the house when I fell down. Okay. All right. Did you hurt yourself? Se lastimó? So, so. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay, thank you, Roberto. Morena, you. you're next. Morena Medina. Good evening. Good teacher. evening. Uh, I was cleaning the house. Mm -hmm. um, when I came to visit me. Who came to visit you? Who they came to me visit me. ¿Quién la visitó? Um, my mother. Ah, okay, when my mother came to visit me. Okay, all right. I was cleaning the house when my mother came to visit me. Sounds good? Okay, thank you, Morena. All right, who's next? Let's see, we have Natalie, Alejandra, Ortega. Um, on March 2020, I was starting in the university mm -hmm. when the authorities suspended the class. Okay, class. all right, when the authorities... Uh, cancel the classes. Okay, that's good. Thank you. We'll continue with Michelle Escobar. In 2014, I was doing an important test from my home when the internet fell off. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. All right, who's next? Jenny Sanchez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I was walking when the earthquake happened. You were walking? Working. Ah, working. Okay. Working. working. Okay. I was working when the earthquake uh, began, you can say, or, or when the earthquake happened. Yeah, it, that's also okay. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Let's see. Um, Paola Maria Alvarado Ceron. Paola, can you, okay. On yesterday, I was, um, on yesterday I was studying, studying mm -hmm. the, um, the English mm -hmm. when the uh, fail internet. When the internet uh, failed or stopped working. Okay, I was studying uh -huh. English when the internet stopped working. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you very much. So who's next? Manuel Aristides. How about you, Manuel? I think Manuel is still connecting. 
it's like, uh, okay, having some trouble with the audio. All right. Um, well, we're going back to, let's see, who was it? It was, I have Manuel, Claudia, Yanet, Luis Enrique, Simelda, Roberto, Morena, y Luis, Morena, eh, Imelda, I'm sorry, Roberto, Sonia, Gladys. Uh, okay, Amilcar, yeah, it's your turn. I am, I am ready, I try. Okay, good. Uh, this, I, I was traveling to Republica Dominicana. Dominican Republic. They, uh, Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. okay, sorry. It's okay. I was traveling Dominican Republic when they say me, tell me that my friend had died. Oh my God, that's very tragic. Okay, um, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, well, uh, thanks for your participation. Okay, everybody, thank you for uh, working on this. We're going to continue now. And here's the lesson objective. In this class, participants will listen and practice a conversation where people are catching up on news, pay attention to the use of the present perfect continuous in context. So that's uh, objective, lesson objective 2.5. So here is the conversation. It's the conversation, what have you been doing? Okay, you have listen and practice, but I don't have the audio file, so we're going to do it together. I need, let's see, there's Pete and Gina, Pete, Gina, Pete, Gina, okay. I need two volunteers, one boy and one girl to help me read this conversation. Okay, Jenny will be Gina. Now one boy, please, to read uh, Pete's part. Who can help me? Oh my God, who? <laughs> okay, okay, Amilcar, you're going to read Pete's part. I'm going to <laughs> zoom in a little bit so that you can see better. All right, let's begin. Hi. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I have, I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, Oops. it is. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I am first a full-time modeling career. 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 Mm -hmm. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work lately. I need a job soon. I am mo I am almost out of money. I'm almost out of money. Okay, thank you, uh, Jenny and Amilcar. I'm going to read the conversation aloud for pronunciation. Pete says, hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Gina says, nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last two months, six months, I'm sorry, I need glasses. Pete says, how come? Before we continue, we have this expression right here, how come? How come? What is the meaning of this? How come is the same as why? When somebody asks you how come, they mean why? They need a reason, okay? So in this case, Gina says, I have been working two jobs for the last six months. And Pete says, how come? I mean, why? Why are you working two jobs for the, where have you been working two jobs for the last six months? And Gina gives a reason. Gina says, I am saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Pete says, well, that's exciting. Gina says, yeah, it is. What about you? Pete says, well, I've only been spending money. I am pursuing a full-time modeling career. Okay, yeah. Gina says, really? How long have you been modeling? And Pete says, since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work lately. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Casi se me acaba el dinero. 
Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or expressions from the conversation? Any questions? Me, teacher. Okay, Michelle. What Me is pursuing? Pursuing. Uh, to pursue means perseguir. In this case, perseguir o estar buscando, estar tratando una profesión a tiempo completo como modelo. So pursue, perseguir. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No more questions? Okay, then. And. Aha, uh -huh, Natalie. And person. Pers you mean this, pursuing? Uh, pursuing. Pursuing is uh, what Michelle asked. Uh, pursue is perseguir. O ir detrás de. I am pursuing a full-time modeling career. Estoy persiguiendo o estoy trabajando, ¿verdad? En... En una carrera a tiempo completo o una profesión a tiempo completo como modelo. Uh -huh. Es perseguir, no es seguir. Perseguir, ajá. No es o siguiendo. sea, tener eso como un objetivo y eso es lo que está tratando de hacer. En sentido figurado en este, en este caso. Perseguir. Uh -huh. Ok, let's continue. By the end of this class, participants will understand, use and practice the present perfect continuous. Let's take a look. That's 2.7. So here's a grammar focus that you will find in section 2.8, as explained by Miss Jessica. She explains it very clearly. We're going to take a look at it. Present perfect continuous. We use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present, okay? What have you been doing lately? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. Next question. How long, cuánto tiempo, right? How long have you been modeling? I have been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? ¿Has estado ahorrando dinero? Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Lo he estado gastando. That's it. But take a look at this. This is also in the video. Uh, present perfect continuous. You use it for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. The structure of the present perfect continuous is like this. You use I, we, you, or they, plus have been, plus the verb in ing, like this. We have been working together since last year. When the subject is he, she, or it, you need to use has. Has been, and the verb in ing, he has been painting this house for two hours. Again, this is what you will find in the platform, okay? I want you to watch the videos in the platform in your free time, but now we have to focus on some extra information. It's the same topic, but extra information. Now, this is not in the platform. Everybody, take a look. It has been raining. Study this example situation. Is it raining? You see the picture, you say no. It's not raining, but the ground is wet, as you can see here. Now, present perfect continuous. It has been raining. This is the present perfect continuous. What is the form? Again, if the subject is I, we, you, or they, or the equivalent, you have to use have. If you want to contract it, if you want to use the short form, you use apostrophe VE. And then you have I've, we've, you've, they've. After that, you will need the verb be in past participle. And the verb be in past participle is been, always been. Con el present perfect continuous, siempre van a utilizar ese been. Ese no cambia, siempre lo van a utilizar para este tiempo de verbo. 
And after that, you need to use the main verb in ing form, okay? So you say, for example, I have been watching TV. He estado viendo la tele. If the subject is he, she, or it, or any other equivalent, you have to use has, okay? Yes. Not have. This time you need has. Or if you want to use the short form, you use apostrophe s. His, sorry, you say he has, she has, it has. Or the short form, his, she's, it's. After that, you use been and the main verb in ing. He has been watching TV. El ha estado viendo la tele. Okay, that's the structure. Remember, you have to use the subject, then have or has. After that, been. And after that, the verb in ing. Les voy a dar una clave acá. Este es el nombre del tiempo, present perfect continuous. Siempre que el, el nombre de un tiempo verbal lleva la palabra perfect es porque van a ocupar un past participle. ¿Cuál es el past participle de acá? Este que está aquí, been. Es el past participle del verb be. También se llama, ¿verdad? Present perfect continuous. Siempre que diga continuous o en algunos otros libros de texto se le llama progressive. Si lleva la palabra continuous or progressive, eso nos indica también que va a ir un verbo en ing. Se llama present perfect continuous, perfect. Ah, aquí hay un past participle. Continuous, aquí hay un verbo en ing. Una clavecita ahí para aprender a identificarlo. So, when do we use the present perfect continuous? We use the present perfect continuous for an activity that has recently stopped or just stopped. There is a connection with the present. Es una actividad que acaba de terminar, pero que tiene un resultado en el presente. Look at this guy, for example. He's tired. You're out of breath. Parece que le falta el aliento. Le acabó el aire. You're out of breath. Have you been running? You see, this guy was probably running. He stopped recently. And as a result in the present, right now he looks like, <sighs> okay. He looks very tired. He's out of breath. Okay. So you're out of breath. Have you been running? Paul is very tired. He has been working very hard. Okay. Comenzó hace ratos, todavía sigue trabajando o se detuvo hace un ratito. Como resultado, en el presente, ahora está muy cansado. Okay, so again, we use the present perfect continuous for an activity that has recently stopped or just stopped. And there is a connection with the present. There is a result that you can see in the present. Paul is very tired. That's the result. But why do we have this result? Because he has been working very hard. Another example. Why are your clothes so dirty? What have you been doing? ¿Por qué está tan sucia tu ropa? ¿Por qué está tan sucia tu ropa? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? What have you been doing? Okay. Another example. I've been talking to Amanda about the problem and she agrees with me. He estado hablando con Amanda acerca del problema y ella está de acuerdo conmigo. I have been talking. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. Te he estado buscando. I've been looking for you. Those are the examples right there. Also, we use the present perfect continuous with how long for and since to show that an activity is still happening or has just stopped. Clave acá, se ocupa present perfect continuous muy frecuentemente con las uh, palabras how long en una pregunta, por supuesto, lo ocupamos con for y también con since. Examples, how long have you been learning English? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado aprendiendo inglés? ¿O cuánto tiempo llevas aprendiendo inglés? How long have you been learning English? 
when I say, have you been learning English? This indicates that you are still learning English. Let me ask you, okay, um, I need a volunteer for this. Iba a preguntar directo, pero dije yo, no, no quiero agarrar a nadie en curva. Vamos a ver, voluntarios. Okay, how long have you been learning English? Using present perfect continuous. Me puede decir, I have been learning English for six months. Or I have been learning English for one year. I have been learning English since January, etc. So I'm asking again, I need a volunteer. How long have you been learning English? Amilcar. I, uh, I have been learning since, uh, since uh, eighth, eighth grade. Okay, I have been learning English since eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay, it's a long time. It's a long time. Okay, okay, thank you, Amilcar. I need another volunteer. How long have you been learning English? One more, please. Sin miedo, vamos. Lo peor que puede pasar es que se equivoque y si se equivoque yo le voy a corregir respetuosamente. Y va a aprender. Uh -huh. So, who wants to participate? How long have you been learning English? Paola Maria Alvarado. I have been learning English one year. Okay, one thing is missing. I have been learning English for one year. Okay. For one year. Mm -hmm. For one year. Okay. okay, I have been learning English for one year. Griselda wants to participate. How long have you been learning English, Griselda? I have been learning English for six months. Okay, I have been learning English for six months. Okay, thank you, Griselda. Claudia Yanet wants to participate. Thank you. I have been learning English. I sorry, I have sorry, I have been Lear, learning English. Learning, aha. Uh -huh. Learning English is since December last year. I have been learning English since December last year. Good. Thank you, Claudia. Nice. Okay. Nada más no se le olvide bajar la manita. Ahí está. Ya la bajo. Okay. Good. Uh, let's continue. Sam is still watching TV. Sigue viendo la tele. He has been watching TV since he woke up. Ha estado viendo tele desde que se despertó. He's been watching TV since he woke up. Maybe there's a TV screen in front of his bed. So he woke up, used the remote control and started watching TV. Okay, he has been watching TV since he woke up. Next, where have you been? Donde has estado? I've been looking for you for the last half hour. Te he estado buscando por la última media hora. I have been looking for you for the last half hour. So that's the idea. Remember, we use the present perfect continuous with how long, like in the question, how long have you been learning English? You use it with for, like this, I've been looking for you for the last half hour. And you use it with since, like this, Sam is still watching TV. He has been watching TV since he woke up. Okay. Also, you can use uh, the present perfect continuous for actions repeated over a period of time. Si la actividad se repite y se repite y se repite por un periodo de tiempo, se puede ocupar el present perfect continuous. Examples. Sylvia is a very good tennis player. She has been playing since she was eight. Okay. Ahora uno juega en el partido, ¿verdad? juega de ahí al día siguiente, vuelve a jugar, de ahí un par de días después vuelve a jugar y así. Una actividad que se repite. Se ha venido repitiendo desde hace tiempo hasta la fecha. Todavía sigue. So, she has been playing since she was eight. Ok. I have a question. Does anybody play a musical instrument here? Do you play the guitar, the piano, the drums, the flute, something? 
Imelda. What do you play, Imelda? Um, the guitar. The guitar. Okay. So, question for you, Imelda. How long have you been playing the guitar? I've been. I I have. Play. I. I que lo dije contractado. Ah, okay. I've been. I've been. Okay, okay. I've been playing guitar since. I was mm, 25 years old. Okay, I've been playing the guitar since I was 25 years old. Okay, nice. Very good. Thank you, Imelda. Next example. Every morning they meet in the same cafe. They have been going there for years. Han estado yendo ahí, al mismo lugar, al mismo cafe, por años. Comenzaron hace años y hasta la fecha siguen yendo al mismo lugar con cierta regularidad. So, they've been going there for years. Ok. What are we going to do? Read the situations and complete the sentences. You have to use the present perfect continuous tense. Ok. Present perfect continuous. Example. It's raining. The rain started two hours ago. ¿Cómo nos quedaría el primero? I need a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? Imelda wants to try. It's been raining for two hours. Okay. It's been raining for two hours, or it has been raining for two hours. Okay, good. It has been raining for two hours. So this is what I want you to do. Okay, everybody. Um, I, I'm, you're going to work in the breakout rooms now, groups of four. And I want you to do number two, three, four, and five. It's not going to be very difficult, but I want you to work together for this. So breakout rooms. Four. Okay, room one, you have Griselda Mendoza, Jose Vega, Morena Medina, and Rutino Amilcar. Room two, Alejandra Magaña, Gladys Campos, Michelle Escobar, and Jenny Sanchez. Room three, Imelda Sanchez, Luis Enriquez, Roberto Tovar, and Sonia Guadalupe. And in room four, Claudia Yanet, Manuel Aristides, Natalie Alejandra, and Paola Maria. I'm going to uh, form the breaker rooms now. Please join your groups and I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Okay, let's begin. Everybody, please join the breakout rooms. Okay, hey everybody, I'm going to join the breakout rooms now. Voy a hacer las cinco entonces. Más. Ok. No, hombre, trabajen juntos, no se dividan el trabajo. <laughs> Para avanzar. No. <laughs> no nos Después pasar. comparamos y nos ayudamos. Mm, bueno, está bien, no voy a... No voy a juzgar, voy a, voy a juzgar por resultados, no por proceso. Pero yo recomiendo más que lo discutan juntas o juntos. No todas son chicas, ¿verdad? Ok, que lo discutan juntas 
y que juntas vayan trabajándolo, pero si se sienten mejor así, no hay problema. Ok. So, um, what about number two? Do you have number two? Campos. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, waiting. 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 Mm -hmm. For the bus. For the bus. For we the started bus. waiting 20 minutes ago. For the bus. What? Mm -hmm. And we started. We start. Empeza, empezamos. Mm -hmm. Let's go ¿Alguien tiene la número dos? Sí. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so what is number two? We have been waiting for 20 minutes. That is correct. We have been waiting for 20 minutes. Very good. Okay, uh, please continue. Please work together. <laughs> and I'm going to visit a different room now. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Okay. In number four, in the number four okay. uh, is she has been working since March. always spend their holidays in Italy. They started going there years ago. Uh, hey, Dave, contract. Okay. Dave. Dave Bing. Starting. Which one is that? Number three? They have. They've been, <coughs> they've been going there years now. Uh huh. Let's see. Number five. Is that number five? Yes. yes. Okay. Our friends always spend their holidays in Italy. They started going there three. They started going there years ago. So what's the sentence? Dave, they've been Dave. going there during, uh, they've been. Aha, uh -huh. they've been? They, they've been going, mm -hmm. for, uh, going there for years. They've been going there for years. That is correct. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, okay. good. I'm going to visit a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Yes. Okay. Hello. Have you finished the exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Can you uh, read number three for me, please? Number three, mm -hmm. I'm learning French. I start, start. I started? Class in January. In January. Mm -hmm. I, I have been learning uh, French. I have been learning French since January, since right? January. Yeah. Okay, very good. I'm going to go into a different break of room and then we're going to close them and we will check the exercise. See you in a okay. few minutes. Okay. Going Italy. 
four years. Four years. Is that number five? Yes. Okay. Can you read it, please? Um, they they have been going to Italy for years. Okay. They have been going to Italy, or they have been going there for years. Very good. Okay. Nice. I'm going to. Um, Stop the breakout rooms now. Okay, see you in one minute. Okay, everybody. In 50 seconds, we'll be back in the class. Twenty seconds. Okay, everybody, let's take a look. Uh, number one, it's raining. The rain started two hours ago, so it has been raining for two hours. Number two, we are waiting for the bus. We started waiting 20 minutes ago. Volunteer, please raise your hand. Alejandra. We have been waiting for 20 minutes. We have been waiting for the bus, right, for 20 minutes, or simply we have been waiting for 20 minutes. Okay, very good. Nice, number three. Uh, thank you, Alejandra. Number three, I'm learning French. I started classes in January. Volunteer, please. Michelle. I have been learning French since January. I have been learning French since January. Very good, thank you, Michelle. Number four, Jessica is working in a supermarket. She started working there on March 15th. Who wants to participate? Who wants to try? Please, I volunteer. Paula. She has been working in a supermarket since March and uh, 15th. 15th, okay, good. She has been, or Jessica has been working in a supermarket since March 15th. Very good. Thank you very much, uh, Paola. Number five, our friends always spend their holidays in Italy. They started going there years ago. Who wants to try the last one? Mm -hmm. Amilcar. Um, yeah, they've, they've been going there for years. They've been going there for years. Mm -hmm. Super bien. Okay. Va a aparecer otra respuesta porque hay una alternativa, pero lo que me ha dicho está bien también. Our friends have been spending their holidays in Italy for years. Oh, como dijo Amilcar, they have been going there or they have been going to Italy for years. Y también está bien. Una manera alternativa de decirlo. Very good, Amilcar. Thank you very much. Okay. Nice. Let's continue. Question form. For the question form, uh, the subject and the auxiliary change places. Okay, and then you begin with have or has. You use have, of course, if the subject is I, you, we, or they. And you use has if the subject is he, she, or it. So you use the auxiliary have or has. Then you need a subject. Then you need been. Then the verb in ing and a question mark. Have I been watching TV? Have you been watching TV? Have we been watching TV? 
Has he been watching TV? Has she been watching TV, etc. We have this exercise right here and we're going to try to do it spontaneously, okay? So um, I'll ask for volunteers. Number one, you meet Paul as he is leaving the swimming pool. Swimming pool, I'm sorry. So you ask, you? Swim. You have to use you as the subject and swim as the main verb in ing. But you have to ask the question, of course, in the present perfect continuous. Who wants to try? No break of rooms this time. This time is an individual uh, piece of work. Individual activity, individual assignment. So what about this one? Number one. You meet Paul as he's leaving the swimming pool. You ask, what do you ask? Using this structure right here. Jenny. Have you been, been, been swimming? Have you been swimming? ¿Qué pasó? No salió. Ahí está. Yes, have you been swimming? Correct, very good. Thank you, Jenny, that's great. What about number two? You have just arrived to meet a friend who is waiting for you. You ask. Who wants to try? Michelle, then uh, Amilcar will get number three. And alguien más me levantó la mano, pero la bajó. Ya no vi quién era. <laughs> okay, Michelle, number three. Ah, it was Luis. Okay, Luis, you get number four. So Michelle, number two, Amilcar, number three, and Luis, number four. Okay, Michelle. How long have you been waiting? How long have you been waiting? That is correct. Very good, Michelle. Thank you very much. Amilcar, next is yours. You meet a friend in the street. His face and hands are dirty. You ask. What have, what have, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? That is correct. Thank you, Amilcar. What have you been doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Good. Uh, Luis, number four is yours. Your friend is now working Your in a store. Now working in a store. You want to know how long. You want to know how long. How long how long have you been working there? Correct. How long have you been working Correct. there? How long have you been working there? Very good. Number five. Thank you, Luis. Need a volunteer for the last one. Mm-hmm. Natalie, your friend has a job selling cell phones. You want to know how long? How long have you, have you been selling cell phones? Good. How long have you been selling cell phones? Great. Thank you, Natalie. Very good. Everybody, you're doing great. OK, I'm happy with the results. But now we have one more exercise. That exercise is here, okay? Again, um, you're going to work in the breakout rooms because this is a bit more difficult. So complete the conversations, use the present perfect continuous. Mucho cuidado porque aquí aparece en forma afirmativa, en forma negativa y en forma de pregunta. Algo que no nos había aparecido ahí, verdad, es la forma negativa, pero es bien sencillo. Para hacer la negativa solamente necesitamos haven't y hasn't. Y el resto es lo mismo. ¿verdad? Solamente vamos a volver negativo el auxiliar, que es have or has. ¿Ok? Eso es todo. Así que cuidado acá. Algunas son negativas. ¿Cómo las reconocen? Bueno, una es negativa. <ríe> la que dice not es negativa. Así que fíjense bien, en el caso que sea preguntas, tienen que ordenar las palabras de cierta manera. Otras son afirmativas, otras negativas. You're going to work in the breakout rooms again. Los mismos grupos, ok. Vamos. 
Um, let's do it. I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Okay, the exercise is on WhatsApp. If you can check it, I'm going to join the rooms now. How you been doing, ba? How, what have you doing? Have, have you, have been. you, have you been doing? Doing. Mm -hmm. I've been exactly. Uh -huh. How have you, have well, you been doing? You been doing, doing like hey. and uh, look at see uh, B. What? Well, I have. Uh huh. Dale, okay. Well, I. I have. Uh huh. I have doing. Spinning my free time at the beach. So you say I, I have I have I have I have been spending. Uh -huh. I have been I, spending. I have uh -huh. been spending, yes. I have been spending my free time at the beach. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Going to go into a different room now. See you later. See you later. How long you? How long you? How um how how long you be silly be silly? That's number three, right? Yes. Okay. How long? But it's not how long actually. No, it's how long. Solo is how. How have? How do you? How have? ¿Qué tal se ha sentido? ¿O qué tal se estado sintiendo? How? How? How have? How have you been feeling? Mm -hmm. How have you been feeling recently? Mm -hmm. What's next? Wait. Great. Mm -hmm. Why? I have, I have been getting a lot of sleep. Correct. I have been getting a lot of sleep. And? And the I have I haven't been eating. Eating. Mm -hmm. As much since I started my diet. Okay. Very good. All right, I'm going to visit a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Bye. Bye. Yes. Sí. Tiene más sentido así. Which one? Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Yes. The number three. Number three, uh huh. I think I, I think we we can we can say how have you been feeling? That is correct. How have you been feeling recently? Mm -hmm. that's, that's right, man. Huh? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, that is correct. Have. Okay. How have? 
how have you been oh, feeling okay. recently? ¿Cómo se ha estado sintiendo? O ¿Cómo se ha sentido? Verdad? How have you been feeling recently? Okay. Right. I have been getting a lot of sleep. Correct. Getting with double T. Okay. I have been getting a lot of sleep. And... I haven't been, no it. No. I haven't been? Eating. Eating, uh-huh. I haven't been eating as much since I started my diet. Very good. Okay, I have to visit the final breakout room. See you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Have Hi. you have you finished the exercise? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Um, what about number four? Um, for um, us, how you been getting? Mm -hmm. Have you been getting enough exercise? Have you been getting right? Yep. Have yep. you been getting enough exercise lately? And the answer is. I have been studying a lot for a big exam. Okay, yeah. very good. I'm going to uh, close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, everybody, I'm about to uh, close the breakout rooms now. So see you in one minute. Thirty seconds. Okay, everybody, um, I need two volunteers to read conversation one, please. Two volunteers. Please raise your hand. Okay, Natalie and who else? Dos personas. Paola. Okay, Natalie, please read A and uh, Paola read B. Luis Enrique will get will be A in uh, conversation two. So, Natalie, please. Paola. What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Ah, by the way, um, la pantalla, pueden ver la pantalla que estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? El ejercicio. Sí. sí. Okay, okay. What have you been doing lately? Well, I have been spending my free time at the beach. Yeah, well, I have been spending my free time at the beach. Very good. Thank you, Natalie and Paola. Okay, we'll continue with Luis Enriquez. You will help me read A in conversation two. And I need a second person, please, for part B. Imelda. Have you been working part time this year? Yes, have you been working part time this year? Yes, I have. I have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. Correct. I have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. Thank you, Luis and Imelda. Very good. Number three, two volunteers. Raise your hand, please. Two volunteers. 
No volunteers. Sonia, and who else? Michelle, okay. Sonia, you're A, Michelle, you're B. Uh, your microphone, Sonia, sorry. Sorry. How have you been feeling? Feeling uh, recently? Recently. Recently. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great. I have been getting a lot of sleep and I haven't been eating as much since I started my diet. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, I haven't been eating as much since I started my diet. So um, thank you, Michelle. Okay. Let's continue right here. Okay, we have Amilcar. Ah, by the way, uh, Sonia, also, thank you. Okay, Michelle and Sonia, thank you. Amilcar and uh, one more person, the last participant today. Uno más, por favor. Y terminamos la clase. Hurry, hurry. Griselda. <laughs> okay, Amilcar and Griselda. Amilcar, you're A, Griselda, you're B. How have you been getting enough exercise lately? Have you been getting enough exercise lately? No, I haven't. I have been studying a lot for a big exam. I have been studying a lot for a big exam. Good. Okay, thank you, Amilcar and Griselda. All right, with that, we will finish. But before that, I just want you to take a look at this. Okay. Um, quiero que avancen todos en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ya tendrían que ir viendo para esta clase 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, storytelling, para ese video. 2.5, what have you been doing? It's a 2.6, prácticamente hasta el 2.8. Bueno, si pueden, 2.9, prácticamente todo, ya casi, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ya nos vamos acercando al final de la segunda parte. Eso significa que también pronto ya va a estar el midterm. El midterm, eh, no les puedo dar las respuestas, por supuesto, pero sí lo podemos ver en clase, con detenimiento para ir explicando los ejercicios, uno por uno, ¿verdad? Así que ahí vamos. Um, with this, we're going to finish today's class. Everybody, thank you very much and good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, thank you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good morning, teacher. Be well.